What's up guys, Viper FPV here, and today we have the brand new flight controller from Hobbywing. It's the X-Rotor Micro Combo. It comes with the F4 flight controller and the G2 401 ESC. So let's go ahead and open it up. I haven't even opened it up yet. And take a look what's inside. Let's take this wrapping off of it. I really haven't opened it yet. Let's see what it's all about here. Nice packaging. Oh yeah, real nice. Alrighty, comes with a XT60 connector already pre-soldered up. Not soldered to the ESC, but soldered up. And this is right here, the specs of it. Um, this is the F4 flight controller. Um, and then this is the uh, B-Heli 32 4 one supports 45 amps. Both of them do uh, 3S to 6S, and this will be going in our 6S ghost build that we'll be building. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the ESC at first. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at Actually, let's go ahead and do this first. I haven't even pre-scripted this. Let's see what it comes with. So, kind of sucks I didn't know it came with a capacitor. I bought some actually, um, but it looks like it comes with a 1000 uh, microfarad capacitor and then also a which one is this one? 560. And then we got some bolts, some uh, spacers, kind of like the uh, F4 of uh, the other hobby wing that I have. That's just a B Heli SESC. So it comes with all that stuff, comes with these bolts for the top of the um, stack. Then we also have harnesses here for the 401 and the flight controller. Pretty hand nice. Comes with the manual. This is for the ESC. And then this one is for the flight controller right here. Tells you all about how to wire it up and everything else. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the ESC. If I can pop it out of there. It's stuck in there. There it goes. It is out. So this is the B Heli 32 ESC. Um, has a really nice. Let me get something. Uh, let me kind of zoom in on a little bit for you guys. All right, guys. Wanted to give you guys a close up of it so we go over the ESC. Um, so right off the bat, we got the, these really nice big pads to solder onto for your motor wires. We got our capacitors right here, which got quite a decent amount of them. And then we have our two big giant pads for our voltage or battery plug right here. Um, now, kind of talking about this connector, this is what's going to be connected to the F4 flight controller. And it's going from the left to the right. The leftmost pin up here is going to be 10 volts. We have ground. Then we have our battery. We have our current output another ground, another 5 volts, and then we have all our signal pads, S1, S2, S3, and S4 for our motors. Um, but that's pretty much it about the um, ESC. Like I said, it does do 3S to 6S, and it is 45 amps, and it does do D-Shot 1200. So let's go ahead and look at the um, flight controller here. Pull that up here. And let me just... Uh, do this right here. So I really like in this form how this flight controller is laid out. All the pins that you need are pretty much right here on this one side. We have another connector here. This is the connector for your 401 ESC. And then we also have um, our boot button, our USB right here. And um, just kind of going over what the UARTs are down here. Uh, both these are ground. This one's 3.3 uh, volts right up here. This one's 5 volts, so you can use it for Spectrum or for Free Sky or for Crossfire or whatever wants to use uh, 5 volts. Then we have our UART 3 Receive. Then we have our S Bus Pad, RSSI Pad, UART 3 Transmit. And then right here we have uh, UART 1 Receive, UART 1 Transmit. These two right here are grounds. Then we have another five, 2 5 volts right there. Then we have our 10 volt output and then we have an LED strip pin here and then these last two here are for your buzzer plus and minus. Um, what a really neat thing about this 
flight controller right here is is that I didn't ever seen this before another flight controller is that this harness right here is actually your video in your video out your 10 volts ground UART 6 and uh, for receive and UART 6 for transmit so what you pretty much can do with this one is use this as your um, transmitter um, your transmit um, video transmitter output and you can just disconnect it here so then you have your camera and your video transmitter off so you can power up say for at a race and you want to work on your quad but you don't want to power up your quad well you can unplug this have everything hooked up that way and then you can go ahead and work on it and then plug it back in when you're all done and the quads off so I think that's a really handy little feature I've never seen that in a lot of flight controllers correct me if I'm wrong maybe there are some out there like this but I think that's a really neat feature of this uh, flight controller um, this flight controller does do um, 32k sampling it doesn't have the MPU 6000, so we can run this at 32, 32 if you want to. Um, and uh, yeah, so it does have a lot of features um, for 2018 that I was really looking for for putting in a 6S quad, and that's why I chose it. So this is should about do it for the video. Um, I want to be posting a build of this with the Ghost V2 and all the other little things I have gotten. So. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll leave down in the description some affiliate links to these items as well. Um, happy to purchase them if you want to.